हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑन द हाइब्रिड ड्राइव ट्रेन्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सो अबाउट द डिफरेंट कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस ऑफ द ड्राइव ट्रेन्स एज वेल एज वी सो अबाउट द टॉपोलॉजीज दैट आर गोइंग टू बी यूज्ड फॉर द ड्राइव ट्रेन्स द डिफरेंट अरेंजमेंट्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट फॉर द ड्राइव ट्रेन्स दैट देवर्स वेयर सीरीज parallel series parallel combination and the last one was the complex arrangement right so in the manner of the components arrangement there are different topologies or we can say the different architecture systems for the hybrid drive trains so we just saw about the types of those topologies let's see the diagram the schematic diagram on which we will understand how these components are arranged so let's see that so here in this figure you can see all the four layouts the first one is the series hybrid that is figure 4a the figure 4b is the series parallel hybrid the combination of series parallel the 4c is the parallel hybrid and the 4d is the complex hybrid arrangement right so these are the four different topologies for the hbs that is hybrid electric vehicle system right in that you can see first one is the series right according to the name the components will be connected in one series you can see here that the power of the ic engine is being transmitted to our electric source with the help of the generator so what will happen here is that the ic engine will run the generator and the power from the generator will be transmitted with the help of the power converter to our electric motor or battery according to the requirement right so all the power to the vehicle will go only from the electric water what engine does is that engine transmit the power in the case of the mechanical energy that mechanical energy is converted again into the electrical energy with the help of the generator and that electrical energy is used to run our electric motor right so the power to run our vehicle will 100% grow from the electric motor according to the requirement that power will be transmitted from the ic engine or from the battery right there are two energy sources one is an ic engine and second one is the battery right so these two energy sources supplies the power according to the requirement for example if our power generation in the ic engine is more than required right so in normal vehicles it get wasted but in this case what will happen is that the power can also be transmitted from the power converter towards the battery as well so that can be helped to charge our battery as well this will happen during the idling condition also during when the vehicle is being decelerated during the deceleration because of the regenerative braking as well we can also help to charge our battery as well so we are actually using the power that is going to be wasted right so this is a uh, helpful in such a way that second connection that you can see below the series hybrid system that is a parallel hybrid system that is figure 4c at the below left side in the parallel connection you can see that the mechanical transmission is connected with the help of a coupler and that coupler is connected individually with ic engine as well and also with our electric motor right so they are supplying the power individually right you can see that they are connected parallelly so either the engine can be run with the help of the ic engine or it can also be run with the help of the electric motor as well right so in this case we can also directly transmit the mechanical power via ic engine to our transmission system as well we do not require any generator to transmit the power from the mechanical energy that is ic engine to our electric motor right the main disadvantage of the series hybrid system is that the power of the ic engine is transmitted three times right the first the uh, the fuel energy transmitted to mechanical energy 
that mechanical energy is again transmitted to electrical energy and again with the help of motor the electrical energy transmitted to mechanical energy so there are the exceeding number of losses in the case of the series system but you can see in the case of the parallel system the power that is being generated from the IC engine can be directly transmitted to our transmission system of the vehicle right and also during the idling condition the power alone from the electric motor will be sufficient to keep the vehicle in a running condition because we do not require too much of the power when the vehicle is in the idling condition so at that time only power that is coming from the battery will be sufficient to keep the vehicle in the running condition the first system that was series hybrid system can generally be used or is generally used in a heavy vehicle such as trucks and other systems because they have an arrangement to arrange all these component generator and this complex component in this system so they can be used in the heavy vehicles second the series hybrid system can be used in the normal cars or normal four wheelers right because it is better as i've already told you the losses in the ic engine is lesser the number of components is also lesser in all the four topologies that you are seeing right now right so the parallel system is most widely used system in our four wheelers or cars third part you can see the third that is figure 4 b that is series parallel hybrid system in the case of the series parallel hybrid as the name suggests it is the combination of the series and parallel system it can be used for both the purposes also ic engine can directly supply to the transmission also ic engine can supply the power to the battery to the electric motor to the uh, charging as well during the according to the requirement but the number of components and the arrangement of this system is much complicated and because of the number of components pretty much higher this system is generally not preferred for our vehicle and the last system that you can see that 4d figure that is complex hybrid system in the case of the complex hybrid system you can see that the power converter that we are seeing there are two power converters we are using in this and also we are using a generator that was in the earlier figure that is series parallel so in this you can see that the engine can directly transmit the power to the battery as well whenever required and also the battery can transmit the power to the electric motor when vehicle can be run also engine is directly connected to the transmission so all the possibilities that can happen in the hvs in hybrid vehicles has been given in this arrangement right as you can see there are most number of components that are required for the complex hybrid system also the arrangement of the system will be very much complex the number of electronics part the power electronics parts will be very much higher and because of that this system is generally not preferred for our vehicle right so the preferred system or preferred arrangement you can say first one is the series that is preferred for the heavy vehicles and the second one you can see is the parallel system which is preferred for our four wheelers right so these are basic four systems that can be used in our four wheelers you can see here the series hybrid system right in the case of the series hybrid system the detailed components you can see right now the power from the engine with the help of the fuel will be transmitted to the generator with the generator we have attached the rectifier the rectifier is used to regulate the current which is being supplied to the battery or electric motor the battery should not get too much value of the current otherwise the battery will be overcharged right so because of that the requirement of regulator is there also you can see the rectifier is connected with two component one is the motor controller and the second one is the dc to dc converter 
right the dc to dc converter is required to degrade the voltages of the power that is been coming from the engine via generator that voltage degradation will be done by the dc to dc converter because the voltage required for charging the battery is lower and it has to be controlled so because of that that dc to dc converter that we saw power converting the earlier side that has been attached here with the dc to dc converter again it is connected with our battery pack which is being charged and further the battery is connected with our charger from which the battery can be charged via an output source now if we talk about the rectifier which is connected with our motor controller that motor controller controls the speed of the traction motor or we can say the electric motor which finally supplies the output speed to our axle right that is mechanical transmission which is connected to our rear axle in this case so finally that can be supplied to our mechanical transmission with the help of the traction motor so this is simply how our series hybrid system works this is you can see the parallel hybrid system in the case of the parallel hybrid system as already suggested you can see that the mechanical coupler is directly connected with our engine and that directly supplies the power of the ic engine to our mechanical transmission system which is connected with our differential and final drive in the rear axle this is simply how the power is being transmitted the second system that is auxiliary system or you can say the power from the electric system that is being supplied from the battery pack or you can say the charger or that is connected with our battery pack and that battery pack is connected with our motor controller and that motor controller is further connected with our mechanical coupler which assist during the higher load also during the idling condition the power is only transmitted from the electric motor and our engine or the ic engine stays off for that time so during that time we can also save the fuel also we can reduce the emission that are coming from the engine right so these were the four systems from which only we use the two system that is series and the parallel hybrid system in the next lecture we will see the power flow control in the case of the hybrid system and further we will see about the electric vehicles until then thank you so much